Hi everybody, uh, this is Andrew again, and so let's continue the story of Eurorack modules that I've recently released. This time we are going to talk about the module that I've already released in a different form factor. So uh, there was a module that is based on the uh, TNZ 4.0 microcontroller that can provide the 5x5 MIDI interface capabilities as well as audio output capabilities and a whole breakout of all available pinouts. So that is available as a, just a standalone board with DIN connectors. Uh, in this version of pretty much the same circuit, I'm providing it in the Eurorack form factor with 5x5 MIDI ins out on the TRS inputs capable of TRS A and TRS B, it's switchable, and as well as audio output that is directly, well, soldered to the TNZ audio capabilities. So now let, let me show how that's working. If you are not familiar with TNZ products, these are amazing programmable microcontrollers based on the same Arduino uh, programming stack that you can use in many ways. By default, I'm providing the several firmwares that's available, so you don't need to program it yourself if you want to have some basic functionality. And for instance, uh, it comes by the default as with just a 5x5 MIDI interface. And so you connect USB, uh, it's available as a 5x5 as a interface in your system, whatever the system is. Can be Mac OS, can be Windows, it's a fully USB MIDI class compliant. And uh, all the ports available to you. Also, by the default, it has programmed the simple sign synthesizer that, generates, that, that has a single oscillator that's a sine oscillator. And you can also use it for a different purpose, like uh, triggering some, uh, I don't know, external gear such as drum machines or, um, uh, or using it as a clock source and so on. So anyway, uh, you can expand this functionality by programming your own, well, Arduino framework inside it, and you can have media filtering, very easy media merging, and so on. I'm not going to focus on these, but I'm just telling you that several templates are available for this board, as well as my other boards based on the same Tinsic microcontrollers. So now let's take a look what's inside here. Um, so this module, available as a kit, consists of a two boards that's that interconnected to each other, and uh, each input and output of this module is configurable to specifications of a TRS A or TRS B. Uh, I'm going to show you to show you what's inside and how these can be easily disassembled. But also, you, you can see here that this is a TNZ 4.0 board. It has all the TNZ pins available on these pin headers. So that makes possible to expand the functionality of this module by just having another blank panel and having that on the DuPont cables connected additional devices. You want to have additional potentiometers or some LEDs, some buttons, that can be easily done to this module because basically it's a breakout for TNZ. Uh, it can be powered through the uh, USB, uh, then you have connected it to your uh, well, computer or whatever. And it can be also powered from the Eurorack uh, power circuit for standalone operation. For instance, you use it without USB at all and you want just to do some MIDI functions, uh, such as merging, splitting, whatever. And for that purpose, you simply uh, use the standard Eurorack power, but you also have the option. You can power it from a 5 volt rail or you can power it from 12 volt rail with some power regulator that, that's also based on the circuit. So it has wide compa uh, compatibilities with all the Eurorack enclosures. You are not limited to, you are not forced to use it 5 volt or use a plus 12 volt for this power moment. That's it. So now let me open it and show you what's inside. So now let's see what's inside this module and how it's assembled together. So there is the basically 8-pin connector that's on both boards, the very long uh, pin headers. And these are two boards side by side. So this board on this side has optocouplers and that is all your input side. And per input, you can control it to the TRS A or TRS B specs. So you may say, I want to have two of my first inputs to be a TRS A because I have more TRS A gear, while others will be all TRS B or whatever. Uh, so the same for the outputs, same jumpers for the outputs. 
Uh, everything is really simple. Uh, all the through hole soldering, very easy to solder. So you can you can get the whole module going under one hour. So if you do that for the, for the second time, you probably do that under 30 minutes because it's really very simple soldering. This is it. So thanks a lot and uh, hope you enjoy that very simple and very efficient way to expand your media capabilities. Goodbye.